Are you looking for the best video editing software for PC? Well, whether you're a complete beginner or you're a more advanced Windows video editor, I've got the top paid and free video editors to help you find the best one for you. So this is the latest version of this video that we make every year. And this year there are significant changes from last year. Last year we had two recommendations, but this year given some big changes, I've actually got four recommendations. So make sure you stick around to make sure you're leaving here with the best one for you, for your skill level, what you're looking to make, but also for the tools and everything that are available to you. And as we're going through, make sure you're checking out the description box below as well. I got a bunch of other resources and tools to help you. A lot of these video editing tools, we've actually got more advanced tutorials and trainings on. And there's also a free PDF video editing checklist as well to help you edit faster in any of them in the description. So app option number one is one that's actually included now in Windows. Think Windows Movie Maker, but for 2025. It's ClipChamp and it's actually pretty decent. This is gonna be a great option for those of you that just wanna do simple, basic edits. Yes, you can still create great stuff in here too, but we don't need to get over complicated with a bunch of effects and all of that stuff. So the overall interface and everything is really intuitive. It's gonna be really easy for you to jump in here to get up to speed and start creating videos. So you can either import your own video footage or you also have the ability to directly record into here as well and record your computer screen. It's a very similar kind of layout and experience to using tools like Canva, but obviously more centered around video as well. There's lots of templates and transitions and things that you can use in here and everything is very much drag and drop. And as I said, very intuitive to use. It does support multiple video layers so you can get more advanced in here and stack up your video tracks. And it also supports all the popular video sizes and formats from widescreen to portrait and even social media sizes as well. So the great thing about this is it's included in Windows. There's also a cloud-based version or web-based browser version you can use as well. But there's actually quite a lot that's included in the free version, allowing you to make videos for free without the need for you to have to go and pay for software to do this stuff. And there's also no heavy limitations on that in terms of what you can create and what you can do. Lots of the free software out there will say that it's free, but then it will have a watermark or it will only let you export videos really low quality. There is no watermark unless you start to bring in some of the premium features into your project. And the limitation quality wise on the free version is you can create videos up to 1080p quality, which is where most people are likely gonna be creating their videos. If you do wanna unlock all the features and the functionality here in ClipChamp and do things like increase the video quality to 4K, then you will need to be on the paid version of that, which you can currently access for $11.99 if you're paying monthly. There's also a yearly option for $119.99. But it's also cool to see that they have some AI functionality in here as well, again, to allow you to make better videos faster. So they have an auto compose feature, which will help you generate engaging shorts. There's an AI voiceover generator, so you can use some AI voices. There's AI silence removal or pause removal. There's even an AI speaker coach in here as well. It'll give you feedback on any recordings you're doing to help you become a better presenter. There's also an AI subtitle generator. There's AI background noise removal. So if you've got bad audio, you can clean that up in there as well. And there's even functionality to remove the background from your videos to allow you to get more creative with what you're making. But I absolutely love what you're getting access to on the free version here in Windows, and it comes with Windows. Or there is also a browser version available too. But this is gonna be a great free option for someone looking for something really simple where they can make basic edits, but also get a little bit more advanced with some of the AI functionality in there too, but really with a focus on simplicity and not overwhelm. Software option number two is CapCut. This is one that we talk about a lot on this channel, and it really is a powerhouse of a tool. So this one will work on Windows, it'll work on Mac. There's also an iPhone and Android version available as well, meaning that you can work cross platform, cross device here. And they make it easy for you to transfer your projects between the different devices through their cloud backup service too. But in terms of interface and usability, this is another one that's pretty intuitive and easy to use. Now, if you're comparing this to ClipChamp in terms of ease of use, then this is going to be more difficult than that, but it's still going to be perfectly fine for someone who is a beginner to jump in here to get up to speed and start creating something awesome. 
and CapCut is probably the leader in the space right now of the amount of effects, and not just random effects, good level effects that are now included in there, but also AI tools and AI functionality as well. So you've got the ability to edit your videos from text because it can transcribe everything and it can auto remove things like pauses and filler words as well. It's also got the background removal, the captions, it's even got AI avatars and AI voices and things in there as well. But overall, the experience of making your videos in CapCut is really fast because the tools that you've got access to are still really aimed at a beginner to intermediate level, meaning that you're not gonna get bogged down and overwhelmed and all this pro-grade stuff. You're gonna be able to find everything as you need it and be able to create something really fast. Now, I really think that CapCut is one of the biggest innovators in this space right now. The amount of tools and functionality and updates that these guys are rolling out is crazy and how far they've come in the last few years to where they are now is really insane and it's also at the point where this is one of the most popular video editing tools or apps out there right now but it is worth noting that not that long ago everything in CapCut was completely free and they only seem to be going down this path of making everything that is decent in there a requirement for you to be on the pro plan and I'm even starting to see on different devices of mine now where I don't actually have the ability to export on the free version of CapCut a video without a watermark. Some of them will give me seven exports per month. Others, I need to be on the pro plan to be able to export any. So it really does look like they're pushing people now to be on the pro plan, whereas before it was a pretty decent free option as well. But I don't think that's a deal breaker. I'm still mentioning it here because it is one of the best tools out there. And in terms of pricing, it's really not that bad considering what you're getting access to, especially when you're comparing it to a lot of the other options out there. The cheapest I've seen and something that I see posted about a lot is around $7.99 per month as a starting place for CapCut Pro. But I've also seen people posting up to $19 or $20 per month for CapCut Pro. But I think the fact that the pricing isn't clearly listed anywhere and it's changing on different devices and different people in different regions, it's a little strange. Why can't we just be like everyone else and here's what the price is. But again, at the same time, I don't think the pricing is a deal breaker because this is one of the best editing apps out there right now. No one else is keeping up with them. We've actually got a dedicated video diving just into some of the AI tools, which I will link down in the description box below. So I think this is gonna be a great option if you are someone, again, who is an absolute beginner through to someone at that intermediate level. But there is also a few pro-grade features in there in terms of color grading and correction that they're building into it too. But I'd say the main focus here would be for someone at that beginner to intermediate level. The next tool is Descript. This is one that I am probably geeking out on the most right now. This is another one that has come so far in the last few years to what it is now. But in terms of it being video editing software, this is a total new rethink on what video editing actually is and how the process of video editing actually happens. So straight out, you can record directly into Descript, which is actually how I'm recording this video and how we're recording all of our YouTube videos and even course content right now too. But the moment you import something, it's automatically transcribing. And then there's a big focus there on the text part where you can easily edit your videos down using text. So already that's a fundamental shift in editing, taking the focus off you really needing to dive in and figure everything out to I'm just editing a Word document or a Google Doc. It's that simple. But taking that to the next level is where they've integrated this with all of their AI functionality. So not only does this have the ability with one click to remove the filler words, the ums, the ahs, the sos, there's also AI functionality to analyze your script and remove any mistakes and retakes. Now, as someone who makes a lot of mistakes and does a lot of retakes, it is so cool to see how powerful this is that with a couple of clicks, I can remove all the bad takes, the mistakes, all of that stuff and just be left with what it thinks is the core content, the usable stuff, which is insane. And what's really cool is it's making the judgment call on where it should make edits. It's even cutting sentences in half and it seems to be picking the ones, in my experience, that had the highest amount of energy or the best takes overall, even cutting sentences in half and merging the two together, which is just crazy. There's also a bunch of audio tools in there as well to help you clean up your audio, remove background noise, make it sound like you're using more professional audio equipment, which is awesome. And I also love that they're adding a bunch of stuff in there to help people make content easy. 
easier. So they've got an AI tool that will automatically move your eyes from looking off camera at a script or something back to the camera, which is a little freaky, but whatever it takes, if that's what you need to do to make videos is read off a script off to the side, then sure, let's use this tool and let's help you get some content out there, help you get your message out there. So I'm all for that stuff. But there's also stuff in there to help you release your videos by adding descriptions, creating timestamps, helping you come up with a title of your video, right through to upload and release as well. So again, this is the tool that we are using right now, even to make this video. It has saved us so much time, but you're not just limited to using it as a self-encompassed tool as well, where you're recording or editing and finishing your videos. They also have the ability for you to export your projects and your base edits out to other tools like Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, or even DaVinci Resolve as well. So for videos like this, we are finishing them inside of DaVinci Resolve right now, adding the titles and all of that kind of stuff. It's not a requirement. We could definitely finish it all in Descript, but I love that you've got the option for those that do wanna geek out, like me and like our editors and dive into some of the more advanced tools and stuff as well to really dial everything in. We've got the capability of mixing and blending these tools here and not just being stuck with one. Now in terms of pricing, there is a few different options here for you. Obviously we've got annual and monthly pricing, which you can toggle up the top here, but it really starts out on this hobbyist plan for $12 a month, which is going to let you export watermark free videos at 1080p. There's some basic AI functionality stuff in there. And again, I'm barely scratching the surface of what you can actually do in here. But up from that is where you unlock the creator plan, $24 a month, again, build annually. But this is where we get access to a lot more of that AI functionality in there, as well as the ability to record and export in 4K, which is, Again, what I'm doing here now. And then up from that, there's also a business plan available too. So I think this is a great option, again, for someone who is a beginner, I'd say through to an intermediate level, given that you don't need to be tech savvy or even a video editor to be able to create something amazing in here. If this matches the types of videos you're creating, it's going to allow you to do that much faster. So that brings us to number four, which is DaVinci Resolve. This is another one where I geek out and I talk about a lot on this channel. The free version of DaVinci Resolve is insane. It is literally pro-grade software that you get access to for free. Yes, there is a paid version of it as well. It's $299 and it gives you access to all of their more advanced stuff. So their AI functionality too. But I'd say part of the reason why this is one of the most popular tools out there right now is because the free version is absolutely amazing. And again, pro grade software. They're literally editing Hollywood movies and stuff on this. Now DaVinci Resolve, it isn't just video editing software, it is so much more. And it's broken down into these pages or sub apps really inside of the bigger software platform. Everything from a dedicated workspace and tools for importing your footage to doing a base edit or a quick edit through to the actual editing interface, the main editing page. Think of this like your Adobe Premiere equivalent. But there's also dedicated pages for things like motion graphics and effects. Think Adobe After Effects, but built in. Likewise, there's one for professional audio and sound creation and the color page. This is something that people use and bring their projects into Resolve, whether they're using Resolve to edit or not. The color page is so powerful. So you can see that you're not just getting access to editing software, it really is a whole suite, a whole production toolbox here. But that also obviously adds to the complexity and to the learning curve of this. I would not recommend DaVinci Resolve to beginners at all. I would say if you're at that intermediate level or you're someone who wants to learn and to figure this stuff out, knowing that you are using pro-grade software, then this is the one for you. The ability for you to really dial everything in, to customize up your workflows and get frame by frame accurate editing, again, using pro grade tools, then this is your best option. So this works on Windows, it works on Mac, there is a Linux version as well. And this is also next level when it comes to cloud based workflows and transferring projects and collaborative editing. DaVinci Resolve really has like a shared timeline experience as well, where you can actually see edits being made by someone that could be anywhere else in the world. So if you are working with team, you are working with editors, then this could obviously be a good option for you too. But it is worth 
worth noting that this being a beast of a program, you will need to have a somewhat powerful computer to be able to use it and get the most out of it. So it's definitely worth checking out the system requirements to make sure that your computer is powerful enough to have a good experience in here. So I've said the free version, absolutely amazing. The pro version, the studio version, unlocks all the AI functionality. And there's a lot. Again, you can edit by text, like we've seen in a few of the other options. There's ability in here to remove some filler words, remove some pauses and gaps, but it is definitely not as good as the experience in Descript for this. It's got AI background removal. There's the ability to relight your scene. And this is something that just blew my mind when I saw it for the first time. Again, I got a dedicated video linked in the description box below, just geeking out on my favorite AI features inside of DaVinci Resolve, if that's a fit for you. But the other reason that this is so powerful, and again, pro-grade software, is that Blackmagic, the company that makes this, isn't just making the software. They also have so much hardware that they're creating as well that integrates directly with it. I'm talking cameras, I'm talking video editing decks, color grading decks and dashboards and boards. And even if you're not at the full pro level of that, there's some awesome editing tools and things that will help you edit faster if you are serious about doing this and you're doing it a lot. And a lot of the cameras and products and things actually come with the studio license for DaVinci Resolve. So if you're exploring that and you're considering buying the studio version, which I do think is awesome, then it's always worth checking out what hardware you might be interested in as well, because you might find that for not much more than the cost of the software, you're getting the software and an amazing piece of hardware, which will speed things up for you too. But again, I wouldn't recommend this one for beginners. If you're at that intermediate to advanced level, this could be a great option for you. So let me know down in the comments, which one are you currently using or which one are you going to be looking into now after watching this video? Don't forget, we've got a bunch of other resources in the description box below. And also linked on screen is our free PDF editing guide, helping you edit your videos faster with the most streamlined process. No matter which tool or app or software you are using, this is going to be a game changer for you. So don't forget to grab your free copy and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.